Hi everyone, it's Dr. Derek here from our Bed. We all know how important it is to be aware of our medications, the side effects, interactions, not only for our exam, but also in patient care. So in today's video, we'll take a look at our disease modifying antirheumatic drug, our DMARDs. These are really commonly used in our rheumatological conditions. And basically we need to be aware of and also keep on monitoring patients for side effects. These medications are usually commenced by secondary care and when the patient is stabilized on this as primary care clinicians, we then take over the prescribing. So we'll take a look at all of these medications within the DMARDs class in a bit more detail. Hydroxychloroquine is used to treat conditions such as rheumatoid arthritis and SLE. One possible side effect of toxicity is bull's eye retinopathy, which describes the appearance of the back of the eye on examination. Now, the way I remember the side effect with hydroxychloroquine is by referring to it as hydroxychloroquine. So, in view of the side effect of retinopathy, ophthalmological examination at baseline and annual screening is generally recommended. Let's take a look at acetyroprene, which is used in autoimmune conditions including IBD, rheumatoid arthritis, SLE, and myasthenia gravis. Here are some important side effects of this medication. It's worth noting that the risks of neutropenia and thrombocytopenia are dose dependent. Nausea is also common early on, but usually settles in time. Moving on to leflunamide, this is mainly used for management of rheumatoid arthritis and psoriatic arthritis. If there's one key phrase I want you to remember about this medication, it is this. It has a very long half-life. Knowing this makes it a lot easier to remember important side effects, mainly by thinking about what can occur if a drug is left in the body for too long. With this line of thinking, we can easily remember that one of the implications of this medication with a very long half-life relates to its risk of teratogenicity. Therefore, contraception is essential during the treatment and must continue following treatment for at least two years in women and three months in men. Monitoring for this medication includes a full blood count, LFTs, and also checking the patient's blood pressure. So let's look at methotrexate now. The way in which this medication works is that it slows down the production of new cells, thereby reducing inflammation. This medication also has an antifolate mechanism, which is why we always give folic acid with it. It's important to remember that methotrexate is given weekly and never daily. Here are some important possible side effects of this medication. Contraception must be used by both men and women during treatment and also six months after treatment has completed. Now also we are aware that this medication has an effect on fertility as well as being teratogenic. However, this now reverses and goes back to baseline after treatment is completed. Now when we think about monitoring patients on methotrexate, we need to keep an eye on a full blood count, the patient's use and ease and also their LFTs. Let's now take a look at sulfazalazine. Now this medication is mainly used in rheumatoid arthritis and also inflammatory bowel disease. Now we need to take caution in our patients with a history of G6PD deficiency and also in our patients with a history of aspirin allergy because there's some cross reactivity here. Some important side effects to remember include oligospermia, Heinz body anemia and also Steven Johnson syndrome. And also an important key point to remember about this medication is that it may stay in the tears and also contact lenses. Importantly, this medication can be used in our pregnant and breastfeeding women. So that brings us to the end of today's video. We've taken a look at our different DMARs. We looked at the side effects and contraindications within medications in this group. As always, if you found it helpful, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Also, make sure you check out our other videos within this curriculum area. Until the next time, I'll see you soon.